Okay, since I believe we're recording, I'm sure that uh, in your travels and in the repair department you've got an antique, uh, perhaps cathedral radio, or any other radio for that matter, and you find that, say, the volume control is bad. So, you reach in your box and you can find a right value volume control, but the one that came out of the radio isn't long enough. Or it goes in the radio, it wasn't long enough. But you find one like this, short shaft, doesn't do you much good, unless you extend the shaft. And the purpose behind this little talk is to show you how you extend the shaft. First of all, you take a piece of string, you wrap it around the shaft like this, give it a single knot, and you make sure it's real tight where the shaft and the housing are together. Right there. And you make this real tight. The reason for this is you're going to end up gluing this together with super glue. And you don't want the super glue getting into the bushing here and, and freezing up the volume control. So that's step one. Step two, super glue. You take the, sp the splice here and you're going to slip it on here. You're going to give this a little dose of super glue. Doesn't take much. That's it. You put it on first. You better get it right the first time because once it's on it doesn't move. Then you take the shaft that you either use the shaft off the old potentiometer or you get an old potentiometer that has the proper length and in this case you wanted a flat so this one's got a flat already made on it if it was a spline shaft you pick an old potentiometer that had a spline on it on the end of it and use it to simply cut it off with a hacksaw make sure all the surfaces are clean so that the super glue sticks real well then we apply the super glue a little bit you don't have to use a whole lot and you have to be quick make sure it's where it's supposed to go you insert it like this and you wipe away the excess I'll just use my finger and you wait oh about 30 seconds ah yes there we go wipe the excess away it's already starting to stick to my fingers so you have to be careful with the super glue there it does not take long for this to set up at all in fact, most of the time, it takes about a minute, uh, and we'll wait just about a minute. Uh, you'll find that this method is very reliable. It will not break loose, because that super holds it like iron. The shaft is perfectly straight, and you'll be able to turn it right away. See the string turn? That means the bearing is not frozen. So it's already holding in place. So before the super glue completely sets up, which it's trying to do, you pull this string off. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. Yeah. If you don't have a pair of dikes, a razor blade will work. Just to get that string off of there. And you'll feel when you pull the string off, it is full of super glue. See, it's stiff. It's got super glue in it. Once that's gone, it turns perfectly fine. It's perfectly true. It's not crooked in any way. And still a little bit warm. But in about another 30 seconds, uh, this potentiometer is ready to install in your radio and you're ready to go. That's all it takes. It's a very simple procedure. Anybody can do it. Just be careful when you do it. Uh, make sure all your surfaces are clean and make sure everything